His Excellency, the Executive Governor of River State, the Special Guest of Honor, His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Benio State, Her Excellency, the Deputy Governor of River State, Gentlemen of the Press, ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to adopt already established protocols. I welcome you all to this event, which is the commissioning of, of our 11th flyover designed and constructed by Julius Berger, Nigeria PLC for the government and the people of River State under the administration of Chief Barista Nissen and Sovike. This project was awarded to us on the 19th day of July 2022 with eight months completion period, but was achieved much earlier. It is no longer news that the present administration had not compromised quality in their deliveries of infrastructural development to rivers people since 2015, when His Excellency carried Julius Berger PLC along in his urban renewal program, in which we constructed a lot of road networks, 11 numbers of flyovers and bridges, while the 12th flyover is almost at completion stage for which we shall be invited soon for commissioning. Most importantly, we commend our client, the River State Ministry of Works, under the watch of Dr. George Kelly and the supervisory engineers on this project. Also, to be commended are communities around the road alignment of this project who lost their right of use of this road during the period of construction. This was a huge sacrifice, which of course has paid off today. May, may I at this juncture bring your greetings from our board of directors and executive management who appreciate your trust and confidence you have shown in our standard and quality of works all these years. Your Excellency, Sir, thank you for all your kind support. Thank you all and God bless you. Thank you. Giving to Moses Julius Berger of eight months. Excellency, we're glad to announce to you that Monsieur Julius Bega, under the supervision of Engineer Tana, were able to deliver on the scheduled completion time of eight months. As a matter of fact, they delivered this project on the 30th of March, which makes it seven months and three weeks. Your Excellency, before I go to the proper description of the project, it's necessary that I give a justification for the project because of uh, cynics. I will always say, why do we have flyovers, 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 flyovers around Port Harcourt? And I ask, why not? The policy trust of the new reverse vision hovers much around infrastructure development. And for a city like Port Harcourt that grows population-wise in geometric proportions annually, there is need for the expansion of the infrastructure we have on ground. In 1963, for instance, Port Harcourt Metropolis had a population of 174,000. 30 years down the line in 1993, Port Harcourt Metropolis had a population of circa 763,000. Today, Port Harcourt Metropolis has a population of 3.48 million. It means that every 30 years, our population here grows from between 4.8 times to 5 times. So if you keep using the same infrastructure, the same road infrastructure that you had 10, 15, 20 years ago, you're going to have severe traffic congestion. This explains the reason why traffic congestion in Port Harcourt Metropolis now is near zero. Your Excellency, the population here for that court metropolis grows by about 4.8% annually. And out of this 4.8%, 3.4% of 
3.9% can be attributed to rural urban migration. Your Excellency, this project is therefore justified as travel time from here to the airport can now be reduced to as low as nine minutes. Everyone will agree with me that before now, we used to have we used to travel to um, the airport. It takes you about one hour twenty minutes, one hour thirty minutes to get to the airport. But today, with all the flyovers and road infrastructure we have, you can get to the airport in less than thirty-five minutes. Thank you, our dear governor, for making this possible. Now, this bridge, this flyover bridge, is nine hundred and twenty-seven point five meter long in terms of construction length. Where I'm standing now is part of the 380 meter length transition with a width of 31.2 meters. 16.1 on this side, 16.1 on this side. And then we have a median of 600 uh, millimeters, a New Jersey style median that tapers upward to an upward width, a top width of 200 millimeters. Now, just uh, by my left here, we also have ramp. We have the northern ramp and the southern ramp. The total ramp is 245 meters. 125 meters on this side and 120 meters on that side. And then we have 13 axes, 13 piers, 3 pier per axis, giving us a total of 39 piers. The bridge is actually 13 spans. Each span has about 8 uh, uh, gather beams. And so we have a total number of 104 pre-stressed gather beams and elastomeric bearing to take care of compression and vertical movement, 208 in number. We also have expansion joints in the retaining wall and on uh, the uh, bridge uh, deck to take care of linear expansivity. We have a total of 177 number 780 millimeter diameter continuous flight auger piles that forms the foundation on which the dead and life load created by this bridge or dynamic load rests upon. And so these piles are reinforced with reinforced concrete. And then we have the pile caps and then we have 200 millimeter thickness of the deck. And then 70 millimeter binder cores and then 16 millimeter wearing cords. On the pavement here, we have soil, soil, uh, soil replacement from between 300 and 900 millimeter thick. And the soil replacement was done with granular material, specifically sand. Thereafter, we have subgrade of soil cement stabilization, 200 millimeter thick and properly compacted. Thereafter, we have another layer of stone base as base cores of 200 millimeter thick. And then we have 40 millimeter binder cores and 60 millimeter wearing cores, making the total thickness of the asphaltic concrete pavement 100 millimeters. Your Excellency, this bridge, this flyover bridge or overpass, is designed by Mrs. Julius Vega to last for a lifetime. Thank you for making this possible and God bless you.